Good morning, ladies and gents. Guess get to do a bit more of Oblivion. It's been a while since I played <coughs> any of this at all, so I can't really remember what we're up to. I've got a feeling we're about to. Yeah, we were. We're about to join the uh, the, very, the very dubious Dark Brotherhood. So let's see what they're up to. We've got to go in the Ill, Ill of in uh, Ill in of Ill Omen. Why can I not say that? Why is that so difficult to say? It shouldn't be that difficult to say. Can't get up here. See that with Super Ninja Lucian would be well proud of us. Look at us up on top of the tree. Poor old Olaf would be wondering where we were. And we broke our ankles getting down. Oh, look at it. I like that. A suspicious looking raven. Right. Um, having just played Deep Rock Galactic, this seems really fast for some reason. Oh. Who are you? I'm Minerva. We don't get many visitors around here. It makes things pretty lonely for me, if you know what I mean. I think so. Rufio? Ah, uh, tell me about the inn. The only people that stay here are stragglers on the green road. Me, I got no place else to be. Besides, I think Mannheim is sweet on me. Ah, uh, fair enough. Don't know who any of these people are, but anyway, tell me, talk to me. Mannheim, it's him. We got plenty of rooms if you want one. Ain't nobody staying here these days except old Rufio. Okay, tell me about Rufio. Rufio? He's an old codger. Been living here for a couple of weeks now. If you ask me, he's hiding from something. But what do I care? He pays his tab. Fair enough. His room is downstairs, in what I like to call the private quarters. Use that hatch in the floor over there. But don't what weird. A warm reception. What a weird thing, the fact that you can... He's got, hang on, did he have some spells? Oh, no, it must be just barter. It is. Oh no, we don't even don't even need Shadow Banish wine anymore. What an odd thing, the fact that there's like a hatch in the corner of the room. Somewhere. There's a pumpkin in the corner of the room. Oh, this! Yeah, what a weird place. It's like these kind of bizarre Airbnbs that are like underwater or something. Anyway, trap door to ill of... Done it again. Trap door to inn of ill omen private quarters. Ah, this one? No. Oh, there we... Probably not supposed to go in here. Look at this! Imagine if, imagine if you paid. You, look at this. Where's your torch? You're supposed to be. I know you can't get in there enough. You're supposed to be helping me with the light in here. There he is. <coughs> Hello, Rufio. Not only are we not supposed to be here, we've woken him up. Who are you? What do you want? I ain't done nothing. Oh, but you have, Rufio. No one hides from Sithis. What are we going to say? What are we going to say? This could be tricky, actually, because I don't really want... I've gone about this the wrong way, really. I should have I should have at least put paralysis on to begin with, because then we could have paralysed him and done him. Say nothing. Just go away. Oh, oh, I knew it. He's doing a runner. Hang on. I need to get... What is it called? No. I'm going to use the one that is... That doesn't use all my mana in one go. Immobilise that bit of one. Oh. There we are. The man named Rufio is dead. The next time I sleep in a location he deems secure, Lucian and the Shouts will visit me once more. Complete my entrance. What do you think of that? He's slightly less adoring. He's like, this isn't what I thought you were. Okay, can I? I just want to kind of. We're going to hit man. He was going to hit man this. We're going to hide him back in his room. Will you get out of the way? You turn. No! Will you move? Okay, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna hit man this, as I say, we're gonna try and get him back into the room. Except his bloody legs caught on something. Right, get in, get in here. No, no one will ever know. I mean the fact that we were asking the innkeeper about him and now he's dead. Yeah, you see, Sithis is um Sithis was not pleased. There we are, we'll put him in the corner. No one will ever know he was there. Wrong one, actually. Use your torch! Yes. Oh, great and oh. Why are you not using your torch? Like every every other couple of minutes you bloody do it. There he is. Hang on, is there a journal or anything in it? Apologies if you can't see very much, no. 
I was expecting there to be some kind of explanation as to why we're killing him. Okay, hopefully the landlord upstairs won't have heard the commotion. Nope, he's fine. <coughs> we could, ironically, buy a room here. And then Lucian can speak to us, can't he? I'd like a room, please. A bed? Well, of course, of course. I've got a small room available right upstairs. First door on the left. Only ten gold. What do you say? I say I'll take it. All right, then. You're all set. Remember, first door on your left. Nice. With the corpse of the bloke still downstairs. And remember, you're always welcome here. What? I paid ten gold for this. Not sure about the uh, furnishings here. Let's sleep for 13 hours. That's a long sleep, isn't it? He said a presence nearby. Uh oh. So the deed is done. How do I know this? You will find that the Dark Brotherhood knows a great many things, for you are now part of the family. Welcome to the family, son. Punch. My life for the Brotherhood. I say, say nothing. Oh, I remember the door. You slightly get the, the the feeling that who hang on who was Rufio? I am done with you. Oh damn it! Don't get a chance to ask about him now. Oh well. Um. Oh no. Oh no! Your crimes have made you unfit to wield the Crusaders' rage. Had a feeling this might happen. Walk the pilgrim's way to repent of your sins. That's fine. I'm not wearing any of the Crusaders stuff. Balls to the Crusaders stuff. Okay, that's fine. So we need to go to Chaden Hall, do we? Is that a knack of that gate? No, there's no sprint in this game, of course there isn't. What what thing is that? Did I knacker this one? Pretty sure I did. I did, yep. Smouldering ruins. Oh actually, while we while we're next to a shrine, I could always start my repentance. The problem is it's utterly pointless really, because like obviously I'm gonna have to murder a lot more. Continue your penance. Obviously, um, it's just going to keep happening until you finish the Dark Brotherhood thingy quest line, isn't it? You're going to keep ending up. Oh, now you're carrying a torch, aren't you? Where was that two minutes ago? Anyway, um, yeah, it's going to keep happening, obviously, because we're going to keep murdering people that we probably shouldn't be murdering. Right, okay, Chaden Hall. If I was a Chaden Hall, we'll fast travel there. Just, just let's let's get this on the boot. How is it? Did I sleep to the wrong time? Did I sleep to PM instead of AM? I can't remember, anyway. Yeah, because it's this weird, creepy, abandoned house, isn't it? It's this one, isn't it? But there's a well, isn't there, or something that you've got to... Don't you have to access via a well? Need a key. Ah, bum. Why'd you get in here, then? Because it's all boarded up, isn't it? Oh. I mean, it, it looks more than just locked. It looks like it's been nailed shut, but anyway. It does look suitably abandoned basement. It does look suitably um Dark Brotherhood y, doesn't it? Through the creepy passage. Look at this! I mean what kind of a I mean this is a door you don't want to go in, isn't it? What's going on here? Is that the night mother, I presume? What is the colour of night? I'd say the colour is Badoffy Pie. Sanguine, my brother. I've gained interest in the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary. I must now speak with Ochiva. Are you Ochiva? Greetings, greetings. I am Ochiva, mistress of this sanctuary. Lucian has told me all about you. Let me welcome you to the Dark Brotherhood. It is 
is always a pleasure to welcome another Dark Sister into our ranks. Truly, the Night Mother smiles upon her trusted daughters. You stand now in our sanctuary. May it serve as your new home, a place of comfort and security whenever the need arises. When you're ready for work, go and speak with Vicente Valtieri. He handles all assignments for new family members. But before you go, please accept this gift from your new family. A unique set of armor, lighter than normal leather and black as the boy. But I've kept you long enough. Vicente is waiting. You'll find him in his quarters. Go now, my child, and may Sithis go with you. I got a few questions. Um, thanks, really. Yes, yeah, ask him about him. Lucian isn't here very often. His duties with the Black Hand keep him very busy, so he trusts me to keep the sanctuary in order. I see. Sithis. Those fools in the church and their so-called nine divine. There is no divinity beyond the eternal and terrible rule of our dread father, Sithis. Fair enough. Go now, dear family member, and may the Hello. Oh, look at him! Look at this guy. You look a bit peckish. Oh, hello. Can I unlock this now? Needs a key, no. Dark Guardian. Hello. But why, so sister? What's the point? Welcome to Why should anyone bother with all that sneaking and skulking? My dear Gargoyle, you are a life taker for the Dark Brotherhood. Our very existence relies on shadow and deception. Do you not value our secrets? Yes, yes, of course I value our secrets. And I've never betrayed them. But using stealth to kill, it's just so weak. But brother. Anyway, sorry, I got distracted. I was thinking an orc in danger calm was quite Get scary. If it isn't the newest member of the family, let's get one thing straight. The tenants prevent me from killing you, but I don't have to like you. Yes, you do. I'll sell you equipment, but only because Ochiva is making me. This family doesn't need any outsiders. He's a welcoming sort, isn't he? What do you sell? Spells? Black Winter. Frost damage and paralyze. For two seconds? What's the point? Baranoff's bloody icicle. No, not a euphemism. 30 points. Blood hunt, detect life, deathly visage. Oh, no, that's not bad, I guess. Night Mother's Caress. Shroud Walk. Chameleon, yeah. The unwelcome guest. Oh, I like that. Void Gazer, Night Eye, yeah. Will of Thysis. Sithis. Level 6. Yeah, your spells aren't that great, mate. They're okay. 50 feet for what? Requires mysticism. We haven't got that. Okay. 30 feet for 65. I don't know what a mysticism is. Old wooden door. Okay, let's talk to this dude. Who's clearly not a vampire. You've already spoken with Ochiva. I am Vicente Valtier. I provide assignments for all new family members. Please do not let my appearance unnerve you. The needs and tenets of the Dark Brotherhood come before my own needs as a vampire. Now, if you're ready to get to work. I can provide you with your first contract. Yeah, go on, Ed. What do we have to do? A contract is a secret pact one enters into with the Dark Brotherhood. They provide us with gold, and we remove someone from existence. A contract is fulfilled by a skilled assassin such as yourself, who keeps the Dark Brotherhood's end of the bargain. So it has always been. While carrying out a contract, you may have the opportunity to earn a bonus if certain parameters are met. Now, let's begin, shall we? I'm not sure how you feel about pirates, but you've got to kill one. A captain, in fact, on his ship, surrounded by his crew. Interested? Yo ho ho, and a bottle of rum. Yes, I'll accept it. Excellent. Here is what you must do. Go to the waterfront district of the Imperial City. There you will find a ship named the Marie Elena. Board the ship and find its captain. Gaston Toussaint. He'll be in his cabin. Eliminate Toussaint in any manner you see fit. The pirates have been moving a lot of cargo on board lately. You may be able to smuggle yourself on board in one of the packing crates. Oh, and one more thing. Get into the habit of asking your fellow family members about any current contract. Their insight may prove invaluable. 
Fair enough. We shall do it. A watery grave. I like it. We're just going to do like a solid snake and hide in a cardboard box with lots of fragile stickers written on it. Can you tell me anything? Warmest welcomes to you. I am Talendra, Wood Elf, and loyal daughter of Sithis. I hope you find our sanctuary to your liking. It's not bad, but tell me about my contract. Pirates, eh? They tend to be quick and good with a blade, but don't favor armor. They're not fond of bows or spells either. Fair enough. May your arrows Sounds like me, basically. Can you tell me anything of you? yourself at home here in the loving embrace of our lady the night mother they look like ropey drug dealers with their hoodies up the Marie Elena you say I've seen that ship there's a unique balcony and a stern my guess is it leads to the captain's cabin could be useful I don't want I don't want guesses mate I want you walk factual information can you tell me anything dark guardian I still can't leave through this bit. Damn it. Why would why can I not have a key? I suppose I'm not trusted enough yet. Okay, fine, okay. You're off to slay some pirates. Oh you two, you had to wait outside. <laughs> I like it. You're not members of the Dark Brotherhood, I'm afraid. Can't get out. Abandoned house. Yeah. Okay, so we'll head down to the Imperial City. Where is it? Oh, it's here. I see. I see. Oh. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it the proper way. Sorry, I was thinking of going to the other place and then swimming there, but then my companions won't be able to follow me, will they? Okay, 3 a.m. Let's wait till the daytime. Mondas. I don't like Mondas. I mean, you'd have thought, oh, sister, you'd have thought that the pirates would have quite a lot of loot that we could half inch as well. It didn't say anything about extra parameters for this. Ah, it's that one, isn't it? Of course it's that one. Of course. So we can hide ourselves in a box. I like it. Open crate. Get in crate. I mean, I remember, sorry, I was just looking at the water and thinking, I remember back in the day thinking that I've been really, really impressed with the water, especially the way, it, not just the way it ripples like this, but the way when you walk into it, it sort of reacts and ripples to you as well. But of course, I had only really been used to PS2 games at that point, so I remember thinking that was astounding. Oh, I, I wish I still had... Um, the, same, uh, the same kind of, you know... Oh, there it is. We're getting air. Uh, well, is this my only option to do this? Because I, I do want to do this, but I, do, I want to tell my companions to wait for me. Is that it? Just as expected, the crate I hid in has been transported to the ship's hold. I must now find and kill the captain, Gaston Dussard. He's probably in his cabin at the rear of the deck. Guys, what are you doing here? Oh no, oh no. I need a detect life spell at this point, don't I really? Um, so I can see where the others are. Do I have a detect life scroll? Or did I did I throw them all away? I, I did bin off a lot of stuff. I've got a worrying feeling I haven't got any psychic motion scrolls. Yeah, got a feeling. Damn it. And I'm pretty sure I haven't got any Tech Life actual spells because it's one of those I was like, I won't need that. <laughs> um, what have I? I thought I'd have like accidentally picked one up at the least, you know. Wizard's Fury. Um, no, I literally don't think I've got anything, have I? Or if I have, I've just gone past it. Oh, hang on. I know. Nope, okay, we're going in blind. We're going in blind, lads. Might be able to do the um, immobilise anyway. Where are we? Immobilise. That might come in handy. Crouch, we're going in sneaky. Olaf, get out the effing way, Olaf. Move! Oh, 
Are we just going to get jumped by like dozens of pirates? I'm telling you, lad, it's bad. It's not going there. Woman on board a pirate vessel. Back in my. Oh, come now. How are we going to do this? So keeps her on for a reason. She's a better sailor than any one of us. I think we're gonna get. I think we're gonna get killed. I think we're gonna get murdered. Because they finished their conversation, he's gonna come wandering around the corner in a minute, isn't he? I think. No, not that, you turd. Where's my invisibility? There it is. Right there. Ah, you mark my words, boy. And <sighs> your is bad luck. Wait there. Wait here. Wait, wait, wait here. Sorry, I was trying to get him to an Olaf, where are you? Oh balls. Okay, he's done. Ow. Kill him! I'm stuck! Where's he mobilized? Right in the Jacobs. Okay. Did my adoring fan get murdered? What happened to him? Where did, where did my adoring fan go? Did he run off and hide? Is that what he does? I told him to wait and now he's... What? Did he get killed? What happened? I'm sure that he just... Because that's not him, is it? Pirate. Pirate. Oh, he had a cutlass. Steel cutlass. Nice. Arr. Where did he go? Oh, let's have a look in the, in the book. On Morrowind. Okay, well, we'll have to just, just have to hope that he appears with us. Or do I... I don't know. Or do I reload that? Because I'm concerned that I've now permanently lost my adoring fan. I can't think where else he would have gone. I told him to wait, and then the pirates started attacking us. He just vanished. Hmm. Okay, I don't know what happened there, to be honest. Let's just hope he reappears in a minute. Ah, uh, I've gained access to the captain's cabin of the, sh of the ship Marie Elena. I must, Elena, I must now kill Gaston Dussault. You're going to get immobilised, mate. Hello. You ain't one of me crew. You ain't one of me crew. You ain't one of me crew. You best start explaining yourself, mate, if you want to get off this ship alive. I'm here for Sithis. The Dread Father summons you. Ah, what are you, some kind of preacher or something? One of them crazies from the church? I ain't got time for this. I'm afraid you ain't got much choice, mate. What are you doing up there? There. Oh, I'll take your nerd route as well, just to add insult to injury. Gaston to sword is dead. I must now return to the sanctuary. Sweet. Yeah. Has he got anything special? Just a steel cutlass. The lusty Argonian made captain's key and some gold. Why not? What was he going to eat? A sweet roll. Yeah, have your sweet roll. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Get out of the way! I can't... Don't you kill! Don't you kill Olaf! He's dead. Sorry, Olaf. Did you get a bit battered? You got fairly battered. They obviously heard the commotion in the captain's cabin and came rushing in. Any more? Yes, loads. Oh no! Nice! Did he actually knock him in the water? Sweet. Are you not... Do you not have a problem with me? Yeah. Yes, you do. Who was that one? Yeah. Don't like spells, hey? Oh, look at that blood on the floor. I love it. Is that going to be a problem in terms of guards? Who are you? No idea who this guy was, but anyway, let's hope he didn't have any quests for us. Uh-oh. I'm... Where's that other guy? Has he gone swimming around the... 
There's still a guy somewhere in the water. Uh oh. You'll never take me alive, copper. I don't know where the one who. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh, we might be able to find the guy that. Where did he go? He sort of fell off. He fell off here somewhere, didn't he? I don't know where he went. Oh well. He swims with the fishes. No, he's still about. Or is that noise from the guard? Interesting. I need to. I need to go through the ship anyway because I need to find. I need to find my adoring fan. There he is. That's the guard. Why is he in there? How did he end up in there? Who's he trying to chase? Uh oh. No, that's fine. That was a bit of a risky jump, that. Why, do, why did the guard go in there? Strange. Strange. Anyway. Oh. Ah! Here he is. This is the other pirate, isn't it? Yep. He's almost dead. There we go. Oh, sorry, no, no. Easy as that. Okay, let's go back into the ship anyway and try and find, as I say, try and find our adoring fan. I can't remember how we, how we got in here now. Oh, through here. Mid deck. Oh. Okay, the, the problem is, I, it's the fact that I asked him to wait just before he somehow disappeared. Did he, like, fall through the ship? Or, hang on. Oh, I thought I saw a shadow through the door. I thought, is he standing around the back of the door? Sorry, okay, we'll have, to, we'll have to go to the lower the lower regions of the ship. There you are, you turd. Follow me. That's the one we came out of, isn't it? Yeah. Did we miss anything? No, iron short sword. I think we're a bit beyond the iron short sword stage of the game, aren't we? I don't know enough. We're leaving. Okay, we are. Follow. I'm not trying to. I'm trying to get out the door. Here we go. Are the guards trying to kill us? This concerns me now. Are they? Are they aware that I done this? Hang on. Now is not the best moment. I'm trying to dispose of, of corpses. Damn it! Can't I get them over this step? If you can give me, I'll give you some money. If you, adoring fan, you grab his legs. Why can't I? Get over the step. Damn it! I need to hide these bodies. Can you spare a coin? <laughs> it's just like. Can you spare a coin while I'm hoofing this corpse over? Pick it up, you turd. She's nearly there. Get out of the way! Adoring fan, move! For God's sake, you're so annoying. Come on! Lift! Lift! We need to get her in the water so the guards have no idea what's going on. They'll never know. It's just like Hitman, as I say, if you hide the corpses. Yes. Yes. Nearly. Don't go into that bit. Come on, bot first. Pick her up. Sometimes it doesn't always... Oh, you... And for some reason her legs don't seem to bend that way. Come on! Okay, you're gonna have to stay there, but we need to, we need to shift this guy. Who is for some reason considerably more Hello. It's not what it looks like. This is this is definitely something that would be easy with two people. Adoring fan, you're useless. I like the fact you can pickpocket him, that's quite an odd odd thing. Oh, you turd. What's that? Hang on, have I got telekinesis? I have, haven't I? 
What does it actually do? I don't think I've ever used telekinesis. Does it actually... Did I not pick up a telekinesis spell? Remote manipulation. What does it do? I mean, what, what is that? What is that doing other than nothing? I can just lift you up a tiny bit more. That's it. That's it. No. Again, what? What does? What does? I don't understand what that's doing. I thought we had her in the water. In this. Anyway, she's bundled behind there. She doesn't. She won't. You won't see. Hello. I used to think you were a hero. I am a hero. Screw you. Oh, hang on. Oh no, that's fine. Okay, I'm gonna walk near a guard just to see if they kick off. Did that one get out of the water or did he drown? God knows. Anyway, who knows what happened to him? Oh, is that the grey fox? It is. It's me. I mean, it's somebody else who's definitely not me. Imperial City Warfront. Oh, sorry. Let's just let's just go back and get our contract done. Chain all. We might even get a key to that well. I'm hoping that our, obje our like bonus objective was not don't kill anyone else in this because that didn't quite go according to plan. Everybody died. So we should fix the gate there. That'll be my job as the new boy, new girl, whatever. Fixing the um, fixing the fences. Doing a bit of DIY. No, again. Why is he? He hasn't. Even, oh, has he got his torch out? Nope. He's not even followed us in this time. He knows he's not welcome. Oh, he's bloody miles away. Where is he? Oh. Ah, oh, he's in the living quarters. I see. I suppose even the Dark Brotherhood must sleep sometimes. I imagine they've got like a pinball machine. Oh, is it a schema? Is you? So, pirate has been eliminated. Excellent. No one will mourn his passing, and Sithis has been appeased. Please accept this black band as your reward. It is a ring whose powers are quite useful to those who value discretion. I'm glad you've returned. Yeah, let's just find out what our next contract is, and then we'll leave that there for the minute. What, what do you want us to do next, we boss? We need you to stage an accident. Kill the target in the manner specified, and you'll receive a considerable bonus. Do you accept this contract? Uh, yes. As I expected. Good. The target is a wood elf named Bane. You will find him at his home in Bruma. Enter secretly and avoid his manservant, Grom. On the second floor is a secret door leading to a crawl space. Inside are the fastenings of a mounted head that hangs over Bainlin's favorite chair. Loosen those fastenings any night between 8 p.m. and 11 p.m. and the head will surely fall on Bainlin as he relaxes in his chair, as is his custom. If Bainlin is eliminated in any other manner, or if the manservant Grom is killed, you will forfeit the bonus. Now go, and may Sithis be with you. Fair enough. So it's going to be a bit Looney Tunes. I have visions of him like staggering around with this, you know, deer's head stuck on his head or whatever, or sort of Faulty Towers style with the, um, you know, when the uh, the well, he's a deer, isn't he? I think falls on uh, poor Basil's head when he's trying to put it up. But anyway, in the Germans, I believe that was. Anyway, we'll leave we'll leave the building. It is. It's me. It is me. It's only me. So, um, yeah, in the next part, we'll have a crack at uh, doing that surreptitiously, bumping off the next the next character. So there we go. So, yeah. So thank you very much for watching this. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the festive period. Um, I know, obviously, this isn't particularly Christmassy, but there will be Christmassy things appearing on the channel. So, um, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourselves, and I shall see you again very soon.